Village from New Air. So this beauty holds 29, that's right, 29 bottles of wine. Pretty sure we have, oh, we're missing one. Have it almost all full. And what's cool is you can see here, it's dual temperatures. So half can be a certain temperature and half can be another temperature because, you know, if you like your whites to be a little bit colder than your reds, there we go. And, oh, you can even hear, it's like, close the door. The, you can hear the air go back on. But this thing is so, so much fun. We've had um, probably too much fun picking out wines to fill it with. And it's really cool because look at how narrow it is. It's narrow, so for those of us who have small spaces and we don't even have any furniture right now, well, we have some. We have like two chairs because um, we're getting rid of all of our stuff. But you can see it's um, it's thin and it can go into small spaces, which is really, really cool. So I added this, it's called, I believe just like a snowy blanket. You can get it at the craft supply store. And then I had some of these really fun, just snowy details. And then um, of course the wine bottles that I made. And then I added in some poinsettias and some snowy sticks. And I think it just adds a nice touch and a nice finish. So when we're going in and out of the wine fridge during the holidays, it's decorated, how pretty and snowy. I also did some wine glasses, uh, sort of the same way, but instead of the Epsom salt, I added a little bit of glitter because if you add the salt, you won't be able to wash the glasses because um, it would melt the salt. So um, same process, you just add some paint, some glue, some glitter instead of the salt, and then finish with a little bit of the paint and then just let it dry and then you are all set for toasting. <laughs> 